Hello and welcome to a special. This is not episode 17 or anything like that. This is a behind the scenes look at what I've been doing to try and get myself back on track. There has been a couple of changes. We've moved a few things around but most of the stuff is back in the same place and as you can see I've got no cows or anything. I've got to find out when I bought them and add them. Same with the pigs, the chickens I'll add. Like I say, none of the uh, my stuff's actually working. And I forget about the date and how much I got in the bank because all that is irrelevant. Right, if you've been if you've been following me, I have done a slight change here. The grapes were on the left hand side, but now I swapped them over to the right hand side because. I kept running into the mailbox. <laughs> if you watch carefully, you'll, you'll notice the mailbox keeps flying off as I keep hitting it. So it was easier for me to go onto the right hand side. So that's my first change. Everything down this side is virtually as it as it was, as it as it as I had it. Same amount of uh, greenhouses I've got. This production here, it's it's the same one, but I've just rotated it from its original position. And also my farmer's helper pack down the bottom, as you can see right down here. I've changed that. I haven't done my two fields on either side of my house because that I have to do that roughly about Christmas time for that to work. So yeah, this is my first little bit of change I've done. So when you see my next episodes, you'll go, oh, that's changed. This that's changed. So this is what I'm saying after my last episode, episode 18, the FUBAR one. I've been doing a few changes right the sensor I've actually downgraded so it's not as large as before so if you're wondering this field I've still yet to do I was just waiting for the sugar beet to do so I could just have a general check of something everything's all what I bought it's all been it's all out and about not really doing anything As you can see, this is virtually back the way it was. Uh, mostly stuff will disappear and all the stuff will be back to normal. This is new. This will be this will be added as a purchase because I've still got 205,000 litres of cake. Yes, you heard that right because the modern grain mill is an absolute monster for producing cake. And I worked it out at 200,000 litres and if the cake's going for $5,000 per litre, that's almost a million. Yep, a million pounds worth of cake. Right, my farm productions plaque, this is one of my must-haves for, for being a console player this as I say is one of my top 10 of must-haves that's in the same place my Schultz modding silo again if this is a must-have this will be in the, one of my top 10s this is in the same place the greenhouses I've put down the greenhouses back in the same place or roughly in the same place now I had a slight problem I'll get to that in a minute, but the, if you remember one of them, the Goa one, I put this down for my uh, bales, silage bales, but I did it as a wrong size, so I've done that again. All my trucks are all here at the moment. Now, if you remembered up here, there would have been the 
the farmer's grape producer. I've moved it because I didn't move this one far enough over, this uh, fish farm far enough over, and I moved this other one too far over. That is why if we run across, there's no road here. There used to be a road that went up, but it's now gone. As you can see, it stops. I've re redesigned it. It stops because it's easier to go up the side now. So, yeah, that's another change. Just so you know. Right, let me get back to my quad bike. These are all ready. To, the two fish farms are ready to rock and roll. I've just got to turn them on. So, if you remembered my episode 15 that I put the processing plant, I've moved it slightly across now because it needs to be quite close to the uh, refinery. So I've moved it further across for better access. And this is the grape. I've moved the grape section over. This is where it uh, is now and it gives me enough space for anything else I want to put down here and of course the oil refinery my fuel refinery is in the same place that has not changed now what I did do because I looked and I thought well mm, not really getting much I the two fields that were here I ploughed into as one field now so we just have one field and I've made it slightly larger than what it was so yeah it just gives me a little bit better of a uh, better pound per acre so to speak so yeah so like I say most of this looks all familiar it's been taking me some time because don't forget I do work and I got stuff to do around there so I can only do it when I can uh, this sell anything silo that will be gone so don't worry about that you won't see that that'll be that'll be done that'll be dusted that'll be gone I've got a couple of uh, of my stuff that I'm actually using because I need to get down oh yes I have changed the my uh, my truck over this one it was a double cab but now I've changed it to a single cab because the water container only fits on this one I think there is an, another water container which I did try uh, on probably episode 2 but I couldn't get it to actually empty so like I said I changed it to a single cab now so that, yeah that's it that's a little difference but everything else on that's exactly the same we will just take a ride now over to the BGA plant because apparently there's been a bit of a difference uh, I did talk to Heavy Metal Gaming last night when I did his uh, when I joined him on his Let's Play for Ebony Island and I told him that he was kind with his words that he didn't say oh with PC you can do this this and this yes I know but I'm a console player at heart <laughs> but he says to me then that even with the land being hi hired I don't think uh, PC could have fixed it right now uh, there was a slight problem with this like I say, everything is the same, but these silos, I just can't get rid of. They, I cannot get rid of them. I go to landscaping, go to demolish. It will not let me demolish them. So, this was where I kept all my other all my other stuff the the Misty B 
uh, slurry and manure sour point and also my sell anything and also my buy anything as well that they all have to be moved because I can't get rid of this it won't let me get rid of it so I had to be a bit ingenious and I moved it I moved it around the back of here trying to get it as flat as, a, as I could so this now is where my uh, BGI cell point is going to be my manure buy point is there the Missy B cell point is here and also my buy point for slurry is here and also the buy anything is here instead of where the BJ used to be so yeah that's another difference you're going to find and everything else is virtually as it was I uh, I haven't done anything different I haven't done anything when I get it all back to where I started which was on the 2nd of June which is which is next year it'll all be on a two day month and also the season's growth will be turned off like I says because it was getting to the point where come winter I had too many days and I wasn't doing it I, I couldn't cover the days with with videos I had a go that's why I did some of that uh, American truck simulator I did that to uh, fill in to say well you know beans works a bit slack I decided to do some uh, trucking so yeah and and if you're wondering this is a decision I have now made because my internet is so poor that I'm going to have to cancel all my appearances uh, for the time being. That means Heavy Metal Gaming, uh, I will tell him that I can't join him on the ATS or I can't join him on the... on the farming simulator uh, servers due to I just lag absolutely terrible and I, and I get kicked so yeah I'm hoping that the company that's coming round at the moment where I live they're dropping hopefully the cables uh, fibre cables so I should be able to be running on fibre cable but I don't know when I'm hoping it's going to be soon because I want to get back I want to get back to the trucking I want to get back to the multiplayer servers with HMG he's been a great friend and he's been a great support for me can't thank him enough and also I'm going to have to tell Chris Umpton 1972 or 1974 because it's 50 this year oh no 73 that I can't join him with Gran Turismo 7 on a Wednesday night due to my poor internet connection but I will give it a try the next time I'm off and see how it goes so yeah because I do like it and then eventually I'm hoping that I can do it some trucking and be actually do a live trucking one using OBS and everything else I need as I say this is the infamous modern grain the flour mill again I've kept it the same name most of them are all the same name so nothing changes there and 
I've got this running because I need 205,000 litres because this will be the start of my next episode. It'll be good. Oh my God, what a cake. What a load of cake. That's what I'm, that's the title I'm working on, or Cake Mountain. <laughs> because it's going to be a lot of cake. So, let's have a look what we got so far. So, we got 13,000 litres of cake at the moment and 2,000 litres of bread. The pig food and that are all going up and the flour, so everything's working nicely. It's all trundling along. I've still got to set up my hops. The fishery's all ready. Just got to start that off. This I've got to set up. I've got to get the compost and that. I've got to move stuff around to all my stuff. All this I'm ignoring. There's no point. I've got to add all the pigs and cows and sheep and everything. Forget about all my payments because it's going to take a lot i tried to add roughly what i actually had originally and and what i gotta burn off to uh to make it look as virtual so as virtual as i can get it and like i say i've got the map already and also there's going to be a little surprise which i've which i'll be all incorporating as well when i uh get the time on an episode so yeah just wait for that well that's enough of my special update so I am going to just head back to the farm. I'm hoping to get it all up and running. Hopefully next week. I've recorded this on the 2nd of June. It's going to take me a little time to upload. So this should be live tomorrow which will be Saturday the 3rd after it's uploaded and I'm happy with it and everything's going well so yeah I haven't bought any new I haven't bought anything extra I'm gonna make sure that the cash I've got was original as close to I can from the original I may go a little bit lower because like I says I did buy the, that building over there so I'll emphasize that I bought a building that's why I've got this much that's why I gotta look at my last video to see actually how much I actually had on the video but yeah I can safely say that's it that's me uh, I'm hoping you, you you're still liking my, my videos I'm not doing any more uh, F1 Manager 22 because I, I got only six views and so of course I'll scrub that. People aren't really interested in that so I thought yep yeah, scrub that one. That's why it's not on my uh, list anymore. Uh, I got a, a GT7 one to do and, and get back to this really. This is my main thing, is, is, is FS22, and also I did buy the Seasons Year Pack 2 as well. So, yeah, I got that going as well. So, what I'm going to say to you, everybody, is thank you all for watching. I'm hoping you're still enjoying it, and I will try and get back onto this, but get back to my schedule of trying to produce one every one a week technically and see how it goes from there so just take it easy have a great day and again thank you all for watching and thank you all for all your support and all your kind words and all your patience so until we meet so until we meet next time 
take care, God bless, and goodbye.